Good morning, afternoon, evening everyone, wherever you happen to be in the world. Today I am playing, well I'm, I'm not sure if you say it, Aquarist or Aquarist as in like Aquarium, but that's what we're playing today. The description on the Steam page for this is short and sweet, all it says is run the best aquarium shop in town, create, renew, manage, observe, see if you can create an aquarium empire. And on the demo itself, on the on the screen that you can see here, it says, Welcome to Aquarist Demo. The water adventure begins right now. In the demo, you will go through the beginning of the, the Aquarist story and see even more amazing things and possibilities. However, in the full version of the game, you will have to complete the stories and face more difficult modes. If you would like to learn more about them, add the game to your Steam wishlist. Have fun. All right. As you can see, it looks absolutely precious. I am really excited to, to jump into this. The aquarium kind of style of game is another one that I've always been really interested in. Probably started with my love of Insan Aquarium when I was when I was younger. And I've never really found a good one. But this just looks incredible. So yeah, we, we're gonna jump right in. I have already wishlisted it. Also, I love how they've done the menu so that they're shaped like fish. Ooh. Hello, I assume you're... Okay. Hi, son. On your 14th birthday, I have a special gift for you. You know I'm crazy about fish. It's right time you too could have your first aquarium. Happy birthday. I would forget you have pocket money here so that you have enough to arrange your aquarium. Spend them wisely. Okay. The water isn't moving very much, but I'm sure it's perfectly safe, right, Dad? Right, Dad? Right, Dad? Even the, even the ghost wanted nothing to do with it. Shut the door behind my dad. Okay, press E to inspect the aquarium. Alright, we have the water type, the temperature, and the capacity. Item information. This is my first aquarium I got from my dad for my birthday. It is small, but sufficient to learn everything about aquarium hobby. Not quite English, I am going to assume. Uh, what am I supposed to... Oh. It's very important to put the correct type of fish, plants, and decorations in the appropriate type of water, otherwise they will die. Okay, can I- how do I close the, uh... Is there a way for me to close the, uh... Press escape? No. <laughs> I'm pressing every button I can think of here. Right, I'm like- I'm left clicking, I'm right clicking, I'm mouse clicking, I'm, I'm escape clicking. Oh, okay, so tab does something. Press tab to open the inventory. It's a bit late for that now. You can select the tab to buy fish, flora, decorations, and fish tanks and utility items. Okay. What? Um, I assume it's going to tell us what things need. Can I buy any of these? Oh, I guess. Okay. D do I have to select the aquarium first? I'm a bit confused. So I guess I... Okay. Buy shovel and soil. Is that utility? Okay, there's the shovel. Bye. Soil? Okay, uh, I'm I'm not sure if this... It all seem to cost the same, so I'm going to go with this one. Pick up the soil and shovel. Oh, oh, okay, and this is where it appears. Click to grab the soil bag and the shovel. Click on the aquarium to start applying soil. How, how does one do? Oh, okay. I hope I don't actually have to fill- okay, it's gonna go with the blue line, so we have to do this five times. Also, what am I standing on? Or am I just floating? Is this ghost who closed the door behind my dad helping me out now? Right click to finish applying the soil. Okay, we are exiting. Hold left click to take out the dirty ground. Uh, Am I supposed to be doing this? Oh, apparently I am very mad at something. Where did my... Is that my... Oh, and I threw this away as well, apparently. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna have to refill this real quick. Oh, So if you right-click, you just throw everything everywhere. I think I left-click to do this before, but I guess I can't right-click to throw out yet. <laughs> okay. Now, let us uh, grab the decorations now. We got a seashell, we've got another seashell, and another seashell, and another seashell. 
Now, how do I how do I access what I own? Do I just like drag it out or something? Oh wait, they'll be over here. There we go. Wow. Imagine actually like it's just throwing soil around. Um I meant uh imagine not just getting your own seashells. Hold the right click, then move the mouse up and down, scale left, right to rotate. Bigger costs more, make it big. Can I and then place it? Beautiful. We're just gonna try and place everything as quickly as we can because I don't really know what I'm doing. God, this this is a tiny little con sh shell. All right, now we gotta buy a filter. So let's do exactly that. Utility items. Is this a filter? Yes. Okay, that shouldn't be. This one shouldn't be too difficult. Now that I know that the stuff is appearing over here, is that fine? Right click on the filter to inspect it. Right. We want to enable it. And we want to buy a heater. God, I hope my fish is going to be happy with this beautiful little home I've created for it. I, I would definitely be very happy. I also love how efficient these guys are at delivering stuff. If only I could order stuff to appear this quickly. Right click to inspect it, enable it to okay, buy the thermometer. So I thought this was a, I mean, I guess this is like the tutorial i don't know if this is going to be like the tutorial or if this like the full demo if you actually get to go to the shop and whatnot let's grab the thermometer just taking everything to the same wall it doesn't exactly look very attractive clearing is ready to let the fish in buy two golden fish uh which one i'm going to assume that's code for goldfish the goldfish Crassius auratus is a freshwater fish in the family Cyprinidae of order Cypriniformes. It is commonly kept as a pet in indoor aquariums and is one of the most popular aquarium fish. Native to East Asia, the goldfish is a relatively small member of the carp family. It was first selectively bred for colour in ancient China more than a thousand years ago and several distinct breeds have since been developed. Wow! I didn't actually know it was part of the carp family, that's actually really interesting. Now let's put the fish in there. Can I? Oh my god, what just happened? I teleported and appeared over here. This is a bit creepy. Click to put the fish. Ooh. It seemed very violent. We need to take care of our fish. Buy and pick up fish food. Alrighty, that's the next step. How do. I guess it's utility, right? There we go. Fish food. Bye. Got something else here. Food for fish. You can feed the fish by clicking on the water uh, surface. Click to feed the fish. Something is missing here. I know. Buy and pick up a background. Okay. This seems interesting. A background? Where, where would one find such a background? There we go. Fastest way to pimp your tank. Choose the one with your fish crush or create something for the, for them to make them feel special. Okay, let's throw the fish food away again as well. Background is used to insert a new background. Right click to throw it out. Oh, that's going to be fun. Who needs it for the fish when I can just hang it on the wall? Oh, no, wrong side. I mean, I guess I can't see my fish now. Some aquariums may have more backgrounds. Buy one and add a background to another wall. I want to uh, change the side, please. Or is it because I've got all the stuff there? It might be because I put all the stuff on that side. I mean, at least we know for next time, right? Where was this background? There we go. You could have told me you wanted me to buy two. Also, I think maybe the ghost is delivering stuff because it just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to uh, cause that time. Oh, that's nice though. Buy and pick up a scraper to remove the background. This is just making me waste money now. Buy this. Get rid of this. It says I own one. Where is it? I'm going to buy another anyway, because I can't see it anywhere. Left click to take off the background. <gasps> okay, right click to throw out. That doesn't seem safe to throw. We can still make our aquarium better. Buy it and pick up a lamp. Is that going to be under utilities as well? Yep. Perfect. Let's buy one. 60 quid. That's a very expensive lamp. Where is this supposed to go? Now set the lamp place on top of the glass. How do I... Can I like... Oh, there we go. God, these poor fish. It's always going to be daytime for them. Right click to inspect the lamp, then enable it and set the lamp as you wish. Ooh, colour blue? Pink. 
white. It's not changing. Oh, but yeah, that would make sense. Red? No, it's still not changing. You can also remove decorations from your crime. Choose one decoration and put it in the trash can. Again, making me waste my money here. Wait, power? Ah, okay, so there, there is the colour. We are just going to probably... Actually, we'll keep it blue. I feel like blue is going to be less harsh than white. Now, choose one decoration and put it in the trash can. Uh, we'll grab the conch shell, if we may. Can I grab it? I can grab anything but the conch shell, apparently. And now I can't grab anything. Okay, it's only it's a good thing I made one of these extra large, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get rid of anything. Is that the trash can? Oh my god, it actually disappeared. Time to see our aquarium up close. Click on the aquarium to switch to the free movement mode. Ooh. Hello, fishies. Find a place where the aquarium looks best and click F12 to earn extra money and save a photo of your aquarium. Where does my aquarium look best? Oh wow, I'm actually like going into the wall and everything here. Once you're done viewing your aquarium, you can exit the free movement mode by right click. Perfect. Congratulations, the aquarium is beautiful. Well done, son. Your first aquarium is ready. Time to face the real challenge. I have problems with my living room aquarium. Will you take care of it? Of course, I will give you money to buy the necessary things and you will earn your first money. Sounds like a good offer. I mean, you said you were a, a complete um, fish fanatic, so why am, I, why am I helping you with this? Nice house, though. Very nice. Hopefully one day I can own a house like this one. I'm not a fan of the green though. You got the entire house is like grey. Oh my god, Dad! What have you done with the fish? Did you kill them? I think I did something wrong and all the fish died and the algae appeared. I don't think I'm doing well. Would you help me fix it? I would like to have sea fish, preferably a seahorse and a pura and a puracanthus hepatus. Take some cash for necessary shopping. If you manage to surprise me, you will earn your first salary today. Wow, okay. Pick up the net and click on the dead fish to catch it. Dad, where's your net for the dead fish? I'm just gonna buy one because you're not telling me where the net is. Oh. Go on the toilet or garbage can to throw the fish into it. Wow. This is horrible. Oh my god, I'm not... <laughs> This went from like quite cute to quite dark all of a sudden. And the way it makes that sound as well. I mean, I'm gonna assume this will only happen like in the actual game if you somehow mess up like really badly. I'm really hoping they don't send like or, or call you to come out and be like, hey, I killed my fish. Will you come like help me? Because if so. That would make me quite sad. Pick up the sponge and click on the panes of the aquarium you want to clean. Right, it says pick it up, but I'm pretty sure I don't have it. That's a... S oh! Where is Patrick? No animals were harmed in the making of this product. Right, let's uh, click to grab the sponge. Let's. Sorry, Dad, I'm going to make a bit of a mess, but it's all right. Oh, my God. Because we're... I'm a professional. And I don't clean up my own messes. You can do that once I'm done. It's clean away. Oh my god. Am I gonna have to do this for every window pane? Woo! <laughs> now take care of the rest of the panes. I'm gonna have to do the back as well, I guess. How do I how do I get to that? Because as far as I'm aware, I can only access the ones I'm actually like in front of. Can I do like Okay, that'll work. What is that yellow stuff pumping out there? That is disgusting. It's like the, the tank is peeing itself. Oh god, this is nasty. You are a fake fan, Dad. You are a fake fish fan. You poor fish. How could you let it get this far? I mean, to be fair, I don't know how quick something like this can happen. I have never actually owned a fish. Pick up the dirty filter from the aquarium and wash it in the sink. Uh, what's the, what's the filter? This thing? Let's throw that over there. That looks good. And wash it in the sink. Do I have to actually rotate or is this like going to wash itself? I feel like the blue bar isn't really moving. Oh, never mind. It's, it's clean. We're all good. Apparently the blue bar didn't need to, to complete itself. All right, clean the heater and thermometer in the same way. Fantastic. Don't you worry, Dad. I have got everything under control. Item is clean. 
fantastic let's do the third one i'm actually surprised like it looks like the stuff would be really stuck on the fact that i can just wash it off with some water is actually quite surprising buy and pick up hose what the hell do you need a hose for ideal for pouring water when the water gets dirty or you want to switch your aquarium to fresh water here's your helper he said he wanted salt water fish though right pick on an aquarium to place the hose buy and pick up bucket Oh my gosh, so much money. Also, I just realized how much money dad gave us. Whoa. 17 pounds for, oh, 17 bucks with a bucket. With a bucket, you can pour water into the aquarium or extract it with a hose. While holding the bucket, click on the hose to get the water out of the aquarium. Pour the water out of the bucket, click on the toilet or sink to drain the water. Gosh, I'm really doing everything. And my dad's just like there watching me. He's not even bothering to ask if he can help me. Is this really how you extract water out of, a, out of an aquarium? I doubt it, because there's no there's no power on the hose, is there? With nothing in your hands, click on the hose to take it off. Well, bear with me, I haven't poured out the last water yet. Hey, Dad. There you go. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And there you go. Use shovel and hold click to put out pull out the old soil. All right, I'll do that. Buy me another shovel, even though I've got a perfectly good one upstairs. That's what I accidentally started doing upstairs. <laughs> Look, Dad, if I'm replacing your fish, you have to make sure not to kill them this time, okay? Pick up the soil and the shovel. Shovel is used to extract and apply soil. Right click to throw it. Pick up the soil and shovel. What soil? Do I have to? Are you telling me I need to? You need? I need to buy more soil, right? I think. I think that's what you're telling me. All right, I'll. I'll buy you this one. And we'll we'll try this. Click on aquarium to start applying soil. I have to say the animation of you like throwing the soil and how the pebbles kind of bounce is quite nice. At least the fact like I bought different pebbles for my dad means that if I ever want to change the pebbles in my aquarium upstairs, at least I've already got some spare, you know. Alright, let's throw these out. I'm holding the bucket, click on the sink to fill it with water. Right. I, I feel like this bucket should maybe be washed out. It looks a bit filthy. Might not have anything to do with the fact that I pulled out my dad's poison water. Well done, same way, fill the aquarium completely. I've got gotcha. you. I wasn't born yesterday. I wonder if those little fish were. Also, if you wanted me to like replace your fish and everything, surely you could have cleaned up the sink first. Where else do we get water from in this house? This is some sweet music. Go and pick up the salt that you can change. Okay. We need to buy some salt now. Salt. I did see that before. Salt bag. The highest quality sea salt. You can use it to turn your aquarium into salt water, but be careful not to forget to get freshwater fish out of it. The packaging is sufficient for one aquarium. The thing is, different aquariums can be different sizes, right? Sea salt. You can change the water in the aquarium to salt water. Holding it. Click to add salt. Are you sure you want to change it to salt water? Remember that fish and plants in the wrong water will die quickly. Yes. Hmm. So much salt. Press J to close the quest panel. Oh. Okay, put two lamps. It's gonna take a while. Turn on the heater, turn on the filter, put the background. Okay, we need a background. Let's do this first. Before we put in any fish. Right click to inspect. That's what I'm doing. Oh wait, it's a thermometer. <laughs> Never mind. Let's turn that on. I'm surprised I don't need to change the um, stuff for that. Put the two lamps down. We need the background as well. Ooh, I thought for a second I was going to place it on this one. Let's place the lamps down. These fish are going to be so happy until my dad decides to kill them. Inevitably. Sadly. Put the heater in the aquarium? Have I not got the heater? Oh. For some reason, I didn't see it as being in the aquarium. I'm not sure why. All right, we need five water plants and eight corals. Let's place the, the corals down first. Ooh, made that go a little too far. Shame the corals don't stick to the floor or anything. I guess that'll do. They just kind of fall and they look kind of limp and, and dead. Which is a shame. I wonder if the the plants will be hooked. I hope they will. Okay, that one at least was... Oh, this one's gonna go just like fall everywhere, isn't it? 
Oh no, okay, so it must at least, it must just fall so it's like on the bottom. So it's attached on the bottom kind of thing, yeah. Okay, now we need five water plants. And we're going to place all of these down. And these fish are going to be super duper happy. You can barely see the seaweed. <laughs> I guess it isn't really seaweed, it's can't seaweed. It does seem to stick to the bottom. Now, where are the seahorses? Right, and Percanthus. Ah, okay, some dories. How dare you want some dories without wanting any Nemos? The seahorses are always such an interesting species. The fact that the males hold on to the babies and then give birth to them. Also, this just seems really violent and quite horrible and nasty. Take screenshot on edit mode. Let's take a nice picture. Oh my god. That was a, a jump scare for a fish game, eh? Okay, it wasn't quite that bad, but you know, I wasn't expecting to be forcefully turned around and have my dad staring into my face. Bravo, son. We can be proud of such a beautiful aquarium in our living room. A reward is due for a job well done. Here's your money. I feel that you will soon become a great aquarist. Congratulations, you have completed the aquarium and some random lady is walking into our house. Hi, I oh, want a beautiful aquarium. If you are so talented, maybe you could help me with my aquarium? Cat eats my fish and they looks bad. Help me, please. I don't know how to fix this. This and many more tasks and adventures await you in the full version of the game. You will be able to build an exhibition and a huge oceanarium tank, earn more and more money and build more wonderful aquariums. I hope she doesn't just walk into a house in the full game. Congratulations, you have completed the Aquarist demo. Add a game to your wishlist to stay up to date with in-game news. Well, I, s I can see good potential for that game, but maybe maybe you can have more quests. And it's like I said, the fish dying and like us saving them, I thought maybe it wouldn't be such a big part of the game. It sounds like it might be. And it's not just about running your own store, which I, I guess is good. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. That might be because I've always just wanted to, to have a game where I run a fish store. They might have different modes as well. Like, I don't really know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this demo as much as I did. And I hope you enjoyed watching. And I will hopefully see you soon. Bye!